miles per hour. Your amazing height is 5100 and your smoke dispersion is 90%. No, no, sound like a good day to burn. <laughs> I'm going to do a little control burning, but what you do is you mix half gas and half diesel, and uh, that gives you enough. It ain't, it ain't super dangerous. To... All right. Well, I sure appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. Have a good day. Thank you, ma'am. Bye-bye. And I got We're ready. We got everything plowed, we got a permit, now we're about to set it ablaze. Oh, let's go do it. Here we go. We're trying to back set it. You want to set your fire against the wind where it won't burn fast. You set it with the wind, it's got a chance of jumping because the wind's going to tear it fast and it may jump your fire break. So set your fire against the wind and that's, that's just a safer way to do it. All right, we're changing up. Letting water get a little walking in. Everybody get, got to get a little piece of that. All right, we got to get out of the smoke. Let's go, man. My dad's the oldest one out here, but if you ain't careful, he'll outwork everybody. He'll be doing everything. <laughs> we burned this last year, and actually uh, the perfect rotation is about every other year, but it depends on the growth and depends on the rain and how much vegetation. However, last year we burned this, but it had been really wet, and it was a very calm day, and we didn't get a good hot burn through here. so. There's still a lot of fuel out there, so it's burning better this year than it did last year. So, uh, but by rule, every other year you rotate and burn. So these old pine trees will be happy. It won't be competing with all them sweet gums and old nasty weeds. It'll get all the water. It's not a crazy wind, but it's out of the southwest, as you heard what they said. So we started on that side. So the wind's blowing southwest kind of out here. So therefore, we got an extra fire break by back burning. So now when the wind gets up, if it gets hot and starts burning fast, we've already got even a pretty big fire break buffer with the wind going that way. So back burn it, I guess you'd say. So start it on the side where the wind's blowing too, and then come all the way back around. It gives you a little bit more pad it makes your uh, fire break bigger. We got honeybee checking on on the baby bee over here. Better known as Whaling, Michael Waddell. That little honeybee done took him a little cat nap, so he'd be all right now. Oh, he is so happy. I got him some Slim Jims. He loves these The baby bee. Uh, yeah, good, yeah. <laughs> Where's it at? What is it? All right, get you some chips. We gotta eat, get you a snack. You want a snack? Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Don't worry, they're fireproof. Yeah. <laughs> we thought we was in the clear. Uh, we really, really don't do no shed hunting, but uh, while you're out here burning, it does give you a chance to walk up on one. We find one or two a year while we burn, but there's a few of them around. Uh, most of them done shed down, uh, but even in turkey season, when you're walking turkey hunting, we found a few. We've killed a lot of turkey over here through the years. <clears throat> Mason, me and Michael and, and Lisa, better known as Sasa. Mason killed this person right down there in front of the tractor. Shoot the one straight, Mason, now. You smoked him, buddy. Go get him. Go get him, Mason. Four kill here. Just right here. Just right there on that edge. 
corn wasn't but corn wasn't but six when he killed that the turkey was bigger than he was but i've been on here long enough to see cows graze all these planted pines this open pasture seeing uh, cattle out here grazing you could pull around the road and see a half a mile across through here at one number open open cow field so probably been here 35 years on this piece of ground but these pines are probably 25 years old but been here a long time Tricks of the trade. You got to fire out, get you a pine top. Go to whooping on it. Section. Got oh, okay. That's the only section. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the four wheeler and run real fast back around it, just to double check. But I think it's fine. It's actually doing perfect. It ain't burning yeah. too fast, and too slow. No, -uh. it's burning, it's burning good. good. Put that back up. I'm gonna hit this section down here. All right, I'm, I'm gonna take the four wheeler around. Be sure to keep watching Bone Collector Channel. If you hadn't subscribed, hit the button below. We really appreciate all you guys' support. Anything we can do to help y'all better learn about something. We don't claim to know it all, but what we do know, we don't mind sharing. Thank y'all for watching.